8.14 a.m. Central Time, 4.14 p.m. Moscow Time. The uh, docking, uh, once uh, completed, will uh, then uh, begin the series of the initiation of the hard mate between the two vehicles, allowing a period of a few minutes to allow the relative motion between the Soyuz and the International Space Station to dampen out. Uh, once uh, the uh, docking probe is retracted and the hooks and latches are engaged, there will be uh, the leak checks that we mentioned a moment ago on both sides of the docking interface from the Soyuz side by Commander Gennady Padaka, uh, soon uh, to assume command of the International Space Station from Mike Fink. That, uh, Formal change of command is scheduled for uh, next Thursday, April 2nd. That uh, will uh, mark the formal handover of the control of the International Space Station to Padaka and Barrett, who will be joining Koichi Wakata as the newly comprised Expedition 19 crew. They uh, actually will have a small increment that will bridge the gap between Expedition 18 and the launch of Roman Romanenko, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Bob Thorsk, and European Space Agency astronaut Frank DeWitter on the next Soyuz spacecraft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on May 27th with a docking schedule on May 29th to inaugurate the era of six-person crew on the International Space Station. About 200 meters now separating the Soyuz uh, from uh, its docking port at the aft end of the Zvezda service module, closing at a rate now of about uh, six-tenths of a meter per second. At the time of contact and capture, the Soyuz's approach will slow to a rate of just about one-tenth of a meter per second. Later in the day, after the uh, hatches are opened uh, to allow the two crews to greet one another, uh, there will be a safety briefing that will be uh, provided by Mike Fink for all six crew members on board and the newly arrived Expedition 19 crew. That will be followed by the transfer of uh, equipment from the Soyuz vehicle uh, to the International Space Station, the deactivation of Soyuz systems early this afternoon, and uh, the transfer of uh, Charles Simone's personalized Soyuz seat liner from the Soyuz TMA-14 that he is currently flying on to the Soyuz TMA-13 that is docked uh, to the earthward or nadir uh, port of the uh, Zarya module of the International Space Station. That will be Simone's ride home along with Mike Fink and Yuri Lanchikov on April 7th for a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan, wrapping up for what Fink and Lanchikov will be a half year in space. And for Simone, his second flight in two years to the International Space Station, this time a 12-day venture and 10 dock days on the International Space Station. You can see the uh, movement of the uh, core's automated rendezvous antenna on the forward end of the Soyuz TMA-14. That uh, core's antenna sends out basically a radio beacon to a comparable system on the Zvezda service module uh, to provide uh, a reflective uh, navigational set of data that is loaded into the Soyuz computers to allow the Soyuz to determine its uh, range from its docking port at the aft end of Zvezda and its rate of closure. Now, just 200 meters separating the two vehicles. In the International Space Station Flight Control Room, visiting vehicle officer Richard Parker, updating Flight Director Brian Smith on the fly-around uh, that is currently in progress as uh, the, the Soyuz vehicle uh, carrying uh, Gennady Padalka, the Expedition 19 and then 20 commander in the center seat, and NASA astronaut, uh, former flight surgeon Mike Barrett in the left seat, Charles Simone in the right seat, as uh, we enter the final phase of the rendezvous uh, with station keeping scheduled to begin just a short time from now. Soyuz vehicle now inside 200 meters. All of this activity taking place as uh, the deorbit preparations are beginning uh, for Discovery's crew for a landing at the Kennedy Space Center this afternoon. These dual operations are carefully choreographed uh, to enable uh, the Soyuz to dock following the departure of Discovery back on March 25th after it spent uh, eight days docked to the International Space Station. Okay, we got it. Примерно 16-19 должен быть. 
Uh, you will enter the shadow at 1619-something. Thrusters on the Soyuz TMA-14 firing in an automated sequence uh, to guide it in the final moments of its fly-around for a precise alignment uh, with the Zvezda service module. It uh, should be precisely aligned uh, for station keeping at a distance of about 150 meters. the Russian Mission Control Center, a NASA delegation on hand led by Michael Hawes, uh, the Acting Associate Administrator for NASA, also joined by Kirk Shireman, the International Space Station Deputy Program Manager, Mike Barrett's family here in force, uh, along with other officials. Shortly after docking, uh, there will be a post-docking news conference, and then uh, two orbits worth of leak checks uh, prior to the uh, scheduled hatch opening, which is planned for uh, 7.10 p.m. Moscow time, 11.10 a.m. Central time. Uh, we are told that uh, hatch opening could occur slightly earlier than planned if all the preparations are uh, complete to enable the two crews to greet one another slightly ahead of schedule. Yes, go ahead. 